Trying the wheels back shiner, which we've, we've got a few fish on out there in the wheels back channel. Um, the hook, basically looking for a wide gap hook with um, short shank. It's perfect for bait fish patterns. It's a partridge. Um, the one that I'm using is a partridge attitude streamer number two. Um, great hook. Um, does a good job holding fish. Quality quality hooks um, are only going to help. Help with holding on to fish. I just started off with a few wraps. It's basically just a, an angel hair streamer with um, an angel sink, angel silk um, body. So I'm just going to pop the angel silk on. A couple wraps just to hold it in place. Give it a chop. I'll do um, one of the overwings, which is the silver holographic angel hair. Really mobile synthetic um, material, which doesn't really absorb any water whatsoever, which keeps the pattern nice and light. And uh, that's easy to cast. So basically just tidy that then and, and uh, folded it over. And then the top overwing, it's a... Uh, different shade. I think this is a grey angel hair. And we're just going to do the same. We'll just pop that in on top. You can actually use your bobbin to hold things. It's quite a neat little trick. You just um, run your material up the thread and sit and pop her on and then she holds and you can mould it to however, to however you like. A couple of turns just to hold it in, in, the, in the spot there. We're using a really nice uh, strong thread. Super strong for its diameter which is really helpful because you can really crank down and secure those materials and yet not have the, the bulk of a, th of a thicker thread. I'm just going to turn this upside down and uh, put in the underwing, which again, angel here. I think this is pearl purple. Just gives that pearlescence uh, hue to the fly, which is natural of the, the shiners that we've got in here. So again, we'll just kind of make it to the length of uh, the pattern that we've got tied up already. A couple of turns just to secure. And then we're kind of just moving on to um, building the head up. Just give this snap, get rid of this uh, excess stuff here. Then we just got to build this head. Maybe a bit more snip and trim is required. Really, is one of the most simple patterns you can tie. Yet this week, one of the most effective. Just cover all the material, better and nice and solid. And then all we're going to do is just finish off with a simple half hitch knot, just to secure, just to keep the tension on the thread. And then we're going to pop on a couple of eyes. It doesn't really matter, but I prefer these, uh, what's called mystic, mystic eyes, mystic sort of 3D eyes. On there. And then this stuff, which has really revolutionised um, fly tying, it's a UV cu uh, cure resin. It's a UK product that we um, that we bring in. There's quite a few UV resins in the market, but this is the one that I find uh, actually dries tack free. and does exactly what it says in the tin, tack free and crystal clear. Now it doesn't take long, it's just a little zap. I'll just turn around. And 
maybe another little coat just to make sure we've got the correct shape of the head. So that's it, the, the wheels back shiner. Um, really simple but effective pattern for, for this area, the wheels back channel. <laughs>